So I actually just come back from Paris and like, apart from just getting away for a few days, one of the reasons why I actually went to Paris was to test like the, the laptop lifestyle. You know, is it possible for me to work from anywhere in the world, you know, just by opening up my laptop? And like, I tested it earlier in uh, London. Like I go to London quite frequently and mostly when i go to london it is for business so i'm already in the zone you know i'm already like in work mode and uh, paris like there, there was no reason for me to be in paris basically so there was no business in paris so it was like uh, for me it was like a test okay can i still be productive if i'm not already in work mode i'm gonna be really honest i struggled with it quite a bit uh, like i wasn't productive at all i just started procrastinating you know i couldn't find like the balance between uh, sightseeing and getting work done and i noticed that uh, like I, I just wasn't in the zone i wasn't in like the right frame of mind to get like, a lot of work done and if i did like obviously i did i had to get some work done there and it took for so long it took ages to get like a small little simple task done because i wasn't in the right frame of mind like uh, it's like back in the day when you when you were studying for tests in school like you don't really want to study so it takes so long for you to remember like certain topics and certain stuff uh, from like, like textbooks and stuff like that but if if you actually enjoy the topic it's so much easier to study and remember everything that you, you know you're reading so anyway it was just for a few days so it doesn't really matter that i wasn't as productive as it should have been uh, but it does make me wonder like is the laptop lifestyle possible if i can't really if there's nothing there to like keep me myself accountable basically and that's why i want to make this video as well is just like reflect on uh, like what happened and just give you guys some tips on how to keep yourself accountable accountable if, if, if it's just you so if you're either working on your own business without someone telling you what to do or if you're abroad like out of the the work mode environment basically so like the like one of the biggest issues with uh, me being in paris and not being as productive is that i struggle with trying to motivate myself and i think that is like the number one tip is you need to find a way to keep yourself motivated you know like self-motivation needs to be number one even when like especially when you're you're trying to start your own business you know you need to be the person that's going to tell you to to get to work basically there's no one like when you when you've just got a regular everyday job then you've got a boss telling you okay you need to get this this and this done you know by the end of the day and if you're your own boss you haven't got that patience so you need to be that patient to tell yourself you know okay we really we really need to you know get stuff done today so you need to actually go out and do it and this is sort of like not only like i don't struggle with it as much but for some reason in paris i did but i've noticed that people really do struggle with keeping the self themselves like accountable so like they'll they'll listen to a boss but they won't listen to themselves and one little way around that is by getting yourself an accountability partner which like it doesn't have to be someone who's physically there with you it can be someone virtual as well and that is something i should have done in paris i should have like uh, just contacted one of the, uh, the people in like the digital marketing sphere and just said to them like listen i'm in paris i'm struggling to get like this and this done can you like um, contact me in a few hours and ask me if I actually got it done and this way you're sort of accountable you're sort of like uh, they're not your boss but you, you do sort of feel obliged to to get the stuff done because you need to tell them at the end of the day that you've, you've finished it basically obviously it does really help if you've got people in the same like niche or the same like uh, network you know if you've got people obviously it does help if you've got people in your network that are sort of like on the same journey because it's just easier for them to like track your progress and for them to also see whether you're being productive or not. Second tip for keeping yourself accountable is just by constantly switching environments. You know, like even in the house when I'm working, uh, like I'm not constantly in my bedroom, you know, I'm not, not constantly in in like one room with like one, one laptop. I constantly switch rooms just like to freshen things up and with a new environment, you sort of like get like this new uh, motivation to be productive and uh, even when you're abroad, that's like one of the best things you can do. Like if you're, um, like for example you're in your hotel room you're in your apartment you're sort of still in that holiday vibe like you're, you're, you're in relaxed mode like the best thing you can do then is just like remove yourself from that like environment or room and go and look for like um, what do they call like in the flexible offices, office spaces uh, you know you can rent office space you can go to like an internet ca cafe uh, you know just get yourself out of holiday mode and Put yourself into like a room that you associate with work like uh, a lot of people if you do work if you like you're starting your own like entrepreneurial venture obviously you're, you're going to start in like your, your bedroom mostly the most digital startups start in their own bedroom nowadays 
and because you associate that room with sleeping and relaxing it sometimes is hard to get yourself like motivated and inspired to get some work done so what i do is when i'm feeling like sluggish i can't be bothered uh like getting work done in my room then i'll just get my laptop go and sit downstairs or go into my dad's office you know just getting myself into a different environment where i am more productive and an environment that i do associate with work rather than relaxing and sleep so like i said that is what i should have done in paris i should have uh, I've gone to an internet cafe, which they actually had loads of in Paris, loads of like, like the, like, I forget what they were called, but they were cafes, like coffee uh, shops, but for people that are like digital nomads, you know, flexible work and stuff like that. I should have put myself into one of those little uh, cafes, just got a few hours of solid work done, and then from there you can just go back into uh, back to enjoy your holiday, basically. And because you're only there for a few hours, you sort of like feel that you need to be productive because you, know, you want to get back to relaxing again, don't you? So, win-win uh, situation there, really. Another tip to keep yourself accountable is to write everything down. Like, I have got, like, I've got so many, like, notebooks and little, like, notepads where I write down my to-do list, you know, my goals, which just, like, jot down some little ideas that I've got floating around in my head. And because it's on paper, like, instead of it just being, like, floating around in my head, you know, when it's on paper, when I create, like, a little to-do list, then from there, I can just sit myself down and just look at the to-do list and just start ticking off the box, you know, start getting stuff done. Because it's, because it's on paper, because you've written it down, it's easier to, to like think, okay, I need to get these stuff done. And it's also like, I think it was uh, Simon Sinek that actually uh, done like a little video on this, is that once you write stuff down and you tick off the boxes, like you do, you get like endorphins, like it feels good that you've completed the task and it'll make you more productive. Uh, like I'm more uh, motivated to like finish off all the rest of the tasks as well. Like there's nothing worse than finishing your day and having that one little open box that you still need to like with, with a task that you still need to get done. And obviously we're talking about like you know like getting stuff done, uh, being productive, making progression and stuff like that. But don't see it as this one big like menial task. You know like you are privileged to work on yourself. You know you're, you're privileged to be in a situation where you can work on your own business and you haven't got like a boss that's uh, you know breathing down your neck telling you to get stuff done so uh, like even though you do need to work hard like you know what i mean like put it all into perspective like you're working on yourself and also like you, you don't need to be constantly work you know you can also schedule like uh, like mini breaks at every milestone and i think that like that uh, tip goes hand in hand with my, my last tip which is to just break it down into like mini micro goals or milestones like everyone's got this big hairy you know audacious goal and it's sometimes really hard to like think like okay how am i going to tackle this goal how am i going to do this but if you break it down and like gary v says if you reverse engineer it it's so much easier and so much uh, like you just got this helicopter view of okay I need to get this done first then this then that you know it's, it's just more manageable basically like everyone's got this or everyone, like most people have got like a goal of okay I want to be a millionaire I want to have a million euros or a million dollars or you know something like that and that it's such a big number you know people really think like okay like how am I going to do that this it's really hard to get your head around earning so much money so if you're just have that number as your end goal and reverse engineer it. Like say, for example, you give yourself 10 years to do it. What's that? That's 1 million divided by 10 is 100,000 a year, which is already like much smaller than 1 million. You know, 100,000 sounds more achievable than 1 million. And like, obviously 100,000 is still big, so you can, that, but that's per year. So you can divide that back into uh, divide that into months, which is eight, uh, just over 8,300 a month. And if you work 40 hours a week, like let's say for example, you've just got a normal day job and you're in, like you work 40 hours a week, so that means you're in roughly 2,000 a month. You know, that's only 6,300 uh, euros or dollars extra that you need to earn per month to become a millionaire in 10 years. That number sounds so much smaller and more achievable than I want to be a millionaire, I want to earn a million. You know what I mean? So, uh, and from there you can even break it down even further. You know, what's that per day? 176 euros per day. Just checking, it's not 176 euros per day. It's 276 euros per day. My maths uh, skills are 
awful now that I'm not like in uni and just do anything with a calculator. But 276 euros per day, that again, so much more achievable and attainable than you know, the 1 million uh, mark. And uh, let's say, for example, you've got a day job, then you're in roughly between 80 and 100 euros, dollars, you know, per day, because you're working eight hours a day. That's so that means that you need to earn an extra 176 euros per day, which that is so achievable, you know, give a few hours of coaching or, you know, uh, become a personal trainer in a gym, give a few hours of personal training, you know, you can earn 176 euros per day online. It's so easy, you know, coaching, even affiliate marketing, you know, you can earn that, mo that amount per day. And if you do that extra, like if you earn an extra 176 euros per day for 10 years, you'll become a millionaire. You know, like that is, uh, that was such a random rant. I didn't even mean to go that that in depth there, uh, but hope I got my point across. You know, like set a goal, reverse engineer, break it down to like mini milestones. Then also like take breaks every now and again, every little milestone. You know, take a break, take a breather. You know, re relax, reflect on how far you've come. I think that's really important as well. And then from there, you know, work on trying to achieve your goals. Anyway, guys, hope you got something out of this video. It was a bit of a random off the cuff video. Uh, like I didn't really film much in Paris, so I sort of do want, I did want to like uh, create like a sort of Paris reflection video because uh, like obviously it's part of the journey and I was testing out like the laptop lifestyle and I just wanted to have it on like tape on video, uh, on film that, you know, uh, the first time in Paris trying to test the laptop lifestyle didn't go as well as planned. So maybe like the next time I do, I'll be uh, more productive because I'll have learned from the first time basically. Guys, if you got something out of it, let me know in the comments down below. Also let me know what, what you want to see from my channel. Um, like, I've got so many ideas, but I don't want to just make videos, you know, for the sake of it. I, I, I want to be able to help you guys as well. So if you've got any video ideas or anything that you need uh, help with, let me know and I'll make a video if it's just like the best way to, to teach someone basically other than uh, coach them. So guys, anyway, like this video. If you got something out of it, comment and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Gotta do what I gotta do.